Good morning, Facebook. I have a very important message that the Lord God gave me this morning, and um, I want to share it. I know that there have been a lot of scoffing about the planet Nibiru, and I want people to know that I wanted nothing to do with this subject matter, but about Two, about two months ago, about 3.15 in the morning, the Lord God woke me up and this is the first time that I heard him shouting because he is, when, when the Lord speaks, he's very firm and he is very, he has a very controlled, soft voice. And he woke me up and he said, Daughter, right, daughter, right. And I didn't have my notepad, which I'm always instructed to have a notepad and a pen. And I didn't have one. So I went running. I was so frightened because I've never heard him show that much. And I started writing and I was led to uh, put that message in video form and I never did so this morning I was speaking to the Lord very early and he said to me I was actually asking him to uh, let me know if I should go and make the video this morning so I went inside into the bedroom because I was on the couch and I, I wanted to have a very um, secure setting, you know, like very private setting. And I went before him and started speaking to him. And then he said, grab a pencil and a pen and write. I want people to know that I am not here I see that there are a lot of messages on uh, uh, on Facebook about five days and three days and all that nonsense. I am not here supporting anyone's message. I am supporting the message that the Lord God gave me this morning. And I want you to know, I waited many hours for him to confirm this message. And he did. So I am boldly putting it out there. If you want to have a problem with this message, go to God. Go before the throne of God. Go and seek the Holy Spirit of God. Go and seek discernment. Because this is what we have to do. When we get a message from anyone, we have to... It, first of all, it has to line up with Bible prophecy. Not, and not... Not, not, and, and Nibiru is part of Bible prophecy. And it also has to line up with the word of God. So I'm just saying to you people, all you scoffers, all you mockers, even people in the body of Christ who want to think that this ministry is real and that ministry is false and the other one over there is real. Who are you to determine God's ministry? Who are you to determine what is real from what is false? Go to God. Speak to God. Go into prayer. There are many loose tongues in the body of Christ. Instead of scoffing and mocking, go to God Almighty and ask Him. And let Him confirm His word. I am going to read this message as I received it. And as it was confirmed by the Almighty God. I only ask people to heed. If, if I were to show you the amount of food I have. Canned foods. Canned goods. I have them all over my house. And the Lord is so faithful. There's a neighbor. And ever so often she rap on my door and give me a lot of canned foods. And I accept them. God is faithful. 
I just want to just, before I start on this message, I just want to tell you, people of God, something. There are many food centers in around the country. Do not be ashamed. Go and sign up. Go to these places and get these, get food. Sign up and get these canned goods. The canned tuna fish. Get the get crackers. Get a lot of water. Not I'm not saying from the food center. Water. Buy water. Buy what you can. If you don't want to go to these centers, go and buy your food. Go and buy food and stock up. The Holy Spirit have have me. Buying, stocking up, and many things for months now. Months. And as I give out, so people rap on my door and give me. I'm telling you. Heed to the word of God. I did not write this message. The Lord, God, wants his people to know. And this message was given to me today, 926, 2016. And this is God's message to you, to his people. The destruction is coming before the end of this year. Worldwide destruction. The atmosphere is ripe for the evil to be unleashed upon earth. Many people are scoffing. Many arguments in the body of Christ about this planet, Nibu. It is coming, my people. It is bringing nothing but famine, destruction, mass destruction, torrential rain, flood, tsunamis. The waters will be stirred and many bodies will be on earth. All over this world. The bodies will be washed ashore. It is going to be horrible like never seen or experienced. Earthquakes, record highs. The earth in many places will be cracked. I tell you my people. Your scoffing. Your name calling. Your attacks on my true service is not the way to go. Get on your knees. Pray unto your Lord and Savior and I will cover you under my wings. The 91st Psalm is my covenant unto my people. Pray for your loved ones. As you can hear, my bell is ringing at the wrong time. But the message goes on. Praise God. Pray for your loved ones. The ones who are not under my protection. The ones who are alive in the world. Pursuing other earthly interests beside their God. Their protection. Their coverage. From this destruction that is about to rain down on earth. My daughter. Put this on my wall. Tell my people. Store up. Store up. Store up. Many people will be the light of their families. They will be their cover for food and emergency supplies. My children, do not scoff at this message. Simply run to me. Approach my throne. And I will confirm this message. Simply run to me. Approach my throne. And I will confirm this message. Ready yourself for this coming destruction. It is unavoidable. Prepare yourselves for my coming. Your Lord God, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has spoken this day. Heed and approach my throne for confirmation. I am 
has spoken this day. Amos 3.7 Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. Again, I am a true end time messenger of God. The Lord God will tell you I am His ordained, appointed, anointed handmaiden for this hour. If you have a problem with this message, and I'm boldly saying it, go to words, the throne room of grace, and ask the Lord God. He is waiting for each and every person. Many of you servants of God also like to come against messages like this. But I can tell you this right now. You will not answer to me. You will answer to Jehovah God. The very God that spoke to me this morning. The very God that confirmed this message. Do not scoff. Go to him. Approach the throne of God. And allow the Holy Spirit of the living God to lead you to do the right thing. Store up food. Store up water. Prepare yourself for the coming destruction. Believe me. I had. Nothing I wanted, nothing to do with this subject matter, Nibu. I wanted nothing. But the Lord woke me up. This is my second message. And I was not expecting him to speak this morning. I just wanted to him to tell me, Lord, should I make another video? Should I make another video? So, uh, um, the video for the, the, the message that she gave me two and a half months ago. And then he told me, write my daughter. He to the Spirit of God. He to God. Go to Him. Only He alone. Only this great and mighty God alone can confirm His messages. May God bless each and every one. Keep your loved ones on the prayers. Pray unseasonally. And keep on watching. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.